I think we drink virgin blood because it sounds cool. I think of it like this. If you were going to eat a sandwich, you would just enjoy it more if you knew no one had fucked it. Most movies about vampires are about how they're villains, or even sometimes heroes. But what if there was a movie made that showed vampires living like normal people? Or as normal as immortal blood-sucking creatures can be? It would be a movie that would show the life of a vampire being just as mundane as the rest of ours. A movie where even vampires argue about doing the dishes. This is bullshit. As it just so happens, a movie just like that was released in 2014. That movie is what we do in the shadows. It's time for the inhuman race. You're down, you're down, you're down, you're down and out of this world. This is my favorite modern vampire movie. It takes the mockumentary style from The Office and revolves it around a group of vampires living together in New Zealand, where it was filmed. It has a camera crew following and filming the lives of these old vampires and how they live in the modern world. When you're a vampire, you become very sexy. We see their pains and struggles with existing just like the rest of us experience. They may be immortal, but they still have issues and problems that they have to deal with that doesn't make eternal life any easier. What I love most about this group of vampires is just how normal, and even sometimes dorky, that they are. Anyone living with a sensibility a couple of centuries old is going to be a bit awkward when going out into the modern public and trying to act just like a normal person. You can empathize greatly with these vampires, even as they're biting into their victims and getting blood all over the room. As long as you're not a virgin, it would be pretty fun to hang around with these bloodsuckers. Speaking of, probably the best thing about this film is the human stew that the vampires befriend after turning his friend Nick. They become enamored with Stu as he helps to guide them through the technological advances of the modern world. Seeing Vlad become fascinated with social media and eBay provides some of the biggest laughs in the film. We can look at her photos. Uh, oh yes. Or we could poke her. Yes. Yeah. The group even goes so far as to protect Stu from other vampires at the end of the movie, during a party, when they all realize that he is alive and probably a virgin. Hi, my name's Stu. Uh, I'm a software analyst. I work for a geographic information systems company. He is a virgin. He is a virgin. The movie has some other fun elements throughout it, and it had me loving every minute of it. I really can't recommend it enough. It's definitely the best vampire movie made within the last decade, and very few would disagree with that. It's clever, well acted, and made for the modern day audience. If you're looking for a vampire movie to watch that will make you laugh, then this is the movie for you. They're dead. And out of this world. I really hope that those guys don't kill those police because it will mean more police will come, possibly even Christians, which is totally the last thing we need in this house.